In this video, I'll show you how to create an audio cable out of an old power cord. Specifically, I'm just using a PC power cord. These are incredibly common. You can get them for about a buck a piece at a thrift store usually. You probably have some laying around. You can also order them cheap off of a site like eBay. Um, you can also use just any kind of power cord really, but I like these. You can look at the side of the cord or whatever cord you're using. It'll usually tell you about it. So this one is 18 gauge wire, which is acceptable. I'm going to be connecting it to this uh, speaker I have. It's like a Mika speaker. Uh, the pair of them I got on Amazon for 80 bucks. Uh, it's a pretty good speaker. It uses these banana plug ports on the back. And so I also have these banana plugs. I have a couple of different types. I have these ones that are like a, it's called a Suel is the brand. It's just a compression type banana plug. Um, and there's this other type, I believe these were like mono price, also off of Amazon. Uh, just like a, a type of banana connector. These are both the compression type. So it'll like uh, pr uh, compress in to connect the wire. I'll show you how to do that. There's also a set screw type where you tighten a screw on the plug. These are not the set screw type. And then the amplifier I'm using is just this one. It's a Fosse Audio. I believe this is about 50, around 50, 60 dollars. So it has on the back, has input here uh, for a left and right. And that just connects to like a, a 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, and then we also have our output, so we have left and right, a red and black for each one of those for the output. And then this just has an on-off switch on the front, audio, but it's a good clean uh, amplifier, great for a desktop. So all these speakers are, is, this setup is for hooking into my uh, computer tower to have some good audio for my uh, computer. So let's get started, uh, I'll show you how to do this. So basically you take your cable, I'm gonna open it up here, and uh, let me move the camera so we get a better view of actually terminating these banana plugs. So the first thing I want to do is take and cut the ends off of here. If you want to actually use this, you could come down a little bit. I might save it uh, just enough that I could possibly use this in the future, this end for something. So we'll set that aside. And then I'm going to come. I really don't need... Uh, I think this is like a six foot cable. So I'm going to do it close to the full length. But you just want to cut as much as you need. The shorter the cable, the it'll be marginally better sound quality. Uh, so I just have the ends cut off there. And then we'll strip. The, there's an outer layer of insulation, this black. So we'll strip that off first. I just have a pair of strippers here that go from 30 gauge down to... Oh, wow. These are, these are the wrong strippers. These are 30 gauge to 22 gauge. So these won't even cut the 18 very well. So I'll grab some different strippers. What I'm going to do for this, I'm just going to come around maybe about 3 inches... I'm going to score it a little bit. I'm going to gently kind of squeeze in just so I'm cutting the uh, that insulation there. And after I've scored it around a little bit, being careful not to cut the wires inside, I'm going to bend that back and forth and just kind of pull and see if I can pull that off. And so now we'll just throw that away. And inside here, this particular cable, usually a, a power cord or extension cord, you're going to have these sort of, I believe it's like a strength member maybe. So it just kind of helps protect the cable if it gets pulled or tugged. And it also insulates and separates these wires a little bit. So we can cut all this stuff off. You may or may not have this stuff in yours. So we'll cut that off. Yeah, so we have a black, a white, and a green. Uh, and so I'm just going to, going to ignore my green. There's no, there's no place for, uh, on the back of our... Uh, amplifier we just have a place for two wires so this third one doesn't really matter and I'm gonna strip these and since you may not may not have the right strippers either you can do, do it with a pair of scissors I've seen people use their teeth you can do a, a razor blade or a knife what I'm gonna do I don't have the, the correct size stripper here like I said so I'm just gonna come over here to the cutting part and gently go down about um, doesn't really matter I guess a half an inch right here and I'm just going to gently just kind of squeeze on there and cut it a little bit. And I'll give it a little tug. And so I can pull that off. I'll do the same thing with the white one. So I'll come over here, kind of gently cut around there. And again, if you have the correct size uh, strippers, you can just use that. But uh, more often than not, I end up just doing it this method. And so now, I'm not going to twist these too much because for the plugs, I'll show you using each one. These just sort of, uh, if you unscrew it, it's just the same way, uh, like righty tidy, lefty loosey. So we'll go left here, and you see there's this part, this kind of jagged tooth part here. So this is the top part. We'll set that aside right now. 
and we'll bring the wire we want and just push it through here. You see it's a hole all the way through. And we'll just push uh, this, kind of let it go all the way through there until it comes out the top. And then we're just gonna bend it over the top here. Oh, I gotta look at, the, there's di different colors. So there's a, these particular ones have a red and a black. Let me grab those and show you. So there's a red and a black. So I'm, a, I'm probably gonna use the black for the black wire and the red for the white wire. It doesn't really matter. The, the wires are the exact same. It's just helping us keep them apart. We just wanna make sure we do both ends of the, of the cable the same. So this is the black one. So I'm gonna put it on the black one instead. So let's just push that through right there. And this is kind of, you gotta be a little bit careful. I may twist it together a little bit, but not too much, just so no little strands get separated by themselves. And now we'll just bend this over. Let me focus right on the part I'm dealing with. And then we just bend this over just a, a little bit. You need enough to make it catch. And you wanna try and bend it over as much as you can in every direction to get really good contact. So see, kind of like that, you just fan it out We'll fan that out and get some really good uh, contact all over these teeth here. Um, you get this, one, this particular one, actually, we could even go a little bit further. The, the further you do it, it's going to help it if it gets tugged on or pulled. Um, it could possibly pull out, uh, which is fine because you can always reconnect these. So, But you don't want to do too much that it's kind of messy in there. So I just did a little bit there. You can see kind of how much I did. Um, and now I will just take the top part of this and we'll just uh, put it right over there and then thread it in. So it should go over and we'll just thread this in. And again, if you get too too much wire too, you'll have a, a hard time threading it in. And so once I, oh, make sure you don't get it cross threaded. So once I get it there, I'm gonna pull on this a little bit to tighten it. And then we'll just tighten this all the way down. All right, so there we go, that one's good and in there. And so if we pull on this, it should be nice and firm and staying in there. So that's the side we need. And then we'll do the same thing for the white. So again, I'm using red uh, for my white since there's not really a white one, but that doesn't really matter. So we'll just push it through here, bend it over in every direction. I'm doing about that, that much is about how much I have sticking out the end. And again, different connectors are kind of different. Some of them don't let you do as much, like these type I'll show you. These type here don't let you do quite as much. Don't let you put as much wire through or else it'll get in the way of the threads. What you can see is on the inside of here, it's just sort of a rounded thing on the inside. So it kind of rounds and domes and presses over top of that. That's why the tighter we go with this, it'll just sort of pull down and pinch those in there, making good contact. And that's really, the, the key is just having really good contact with all of the wires. And you can see, you want to get nice and tight. You can see these are actually, there's some, some space in there too. So these could have much larger up to maybe like a size 10 or even eight possibly wire. So, but this will be fine just for my desktop uh, speaker. So we can see, we can bring the speaker over here. So we can see they'll just press right in there. So we have the black and the red. We can also check and make sure that they'll fit into the back of our amplifier. So here's the amplifier here. Focus in on that a little bit. So we have red and black, and it's left and right. So we'll just make sure that our black goes with our black, our red goes with our red. Perfect, just like that. All right, so here we go. I've got a sound sample. So this is what it was like before. This is coming out of this monitor. So granted, it's not a great speaker anyway. Not like a super great comparison. But here's switching over to the speakers I just set up with that power cable. So it's a much better. We got this speaker here. We got this one here. I hope you liked this video guys. Hopefully it helped you out. The big takeaway from this video should be the cable doesn't matter as much as long as you're not doing something super, super cheap and tiny. Uh, but your speakers and your amp are going to make a big difference. So I'd say invest your money, if you're on a budget, invest your money in quality speakers and in a quality amp. Uh, and then if you're going to go cheap a little bit or do like a DIY method, uh, go, you know, go cheaper on the plugs and the cable. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.